Hey guys, uh, John here again today from Toxic Spikes, and I am gonna continue my Let's Play of Pokemon Soul Silver. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue the game. And last time we left off, I was just trying to get out of the first town, but obviously I couldn't do that. So yeah, I'm back here, and now I might actually get into my first battles. Alrighty, all right, let's do this. Uh, And it's a wild Rattata. Great. Okay, so basically in these whole beginning parts, you're really supposed to just like, you know, train so you can beat your rival later and everything, but I don't really feel like training at all. Because then this this uh, whole let's play would be very overplayed and long. So I'll just do like one battle to get it out of the way, get some experience, and then maybe one on the way to Mr. Pokemon's house, be level 6. And that should be plenty to be able to take out uh, my rival. One thing I did notice though is that in this game, the animations for some of the moves are actually different, which is pretty cool. Okay, yep. Experience points, that gave me crap. Um... This was actually like the first game where they give you a chance to train before you fight your rival, which I always thought was cool. Oh, Pidgey. Well, I don't know about the Sinnoh games actually. I don't I beat Pokemon Pearl a while back, but it was so unenjoyable. It wasn't really memorable at all. So I don't remember. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna try and go to town at a snail's pace. I don't realize why this game moves so slow. And this is like real time speed. Like, this is not slow because of any reasons whatsoever, because I'm recording or anything. No, this is just a slow game. Ah, jeez. Even my Cyndaquil, who's walking behind me, just has this look on his face like, come on, hurry up. My guy's all, like, on acid or something, like, uh, whatever. Yes, I made it out with enemy, without any battles, and, uh, I'm not gonna go out there for that berry or whatever it is, because I don't really feel like battling again. And finally, which town is this again? Well, it doesn't tell you, I guess. <laughs> Find out. Cherry Grove City. Oh, there's that dude that you can talk to and he'll give you... Or maybe he just runs up to you. Again, real-life scenarios. How weird would this be? Some old guy just runs up to you when you get into a new town. Like, hey, ten-year-old kid, want me to show you around town? Want me to bring you back to my house? Here, have these sneakers I got for you. Jeez. Yeah, I do know about the sneakers, because I remember my friend telling me something about how you get running shoes in this game, and I was like, yes, I won't have to walk all the way to Golden Run, because at this pace, it w that would be like six episodes. Oh, and I figured out YouTube lets videos go up to 15 minutes nowadays, and that just shows how long it's been since I've made any videos for YouTube, because uh, last time I made a video for YouTube, you can only go up to 10, so I can go a little longer today. Okay, so he just tells me a bunch of crap I already know, and pretty much anybody who bought this game already knows. Because they gotta realize that 90% of the audience buying this game are people who want an updated version of Gold and Silver. And 90% of the people who played Gold and Silver are my age. And they're either A, capable of figuring out the game for themselves, or B, they've already played, like, every game up until this point. Okay, so... Yeah, whatever, Mr. Pokemon's house, that's where I wish I could go. And then he tells me that this is the ocean, which is a total lie, because I know that that's just like a pond. With some fat dude sitting out there. Yeah, whatever. I gotta say though, I do admire the whole update on graphics and stuff, yeah. Now we go back to his house. Here, it's my house. For your effort keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. Uh, I don't want your shoes. They're still warm. Oh, that's gross. Cool, the guy gent. What a gentleman. 
forced me to walk around town while he got to run. I don't know why I don't run anyways, because it's not like my shoes look any different. And it's not like before, I mean, what was I doing before? Wearing shoes that were just incapable of running in? Like, I'd just blow them out in like 30 seconds if I started running and cause major head trauma to myself? No. I don't know, maybe it's just the game's way of making you wade through all that grass in the beginning. But whatever. So, now I'm in the Pokemon Center. Which actually looks very different from most other games. There's Joy blocking the door downstairs. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just not ready to go downstairs. No, I know that's where the Wi-Fi stuff is. But, still, I mean, why can't I go down there? If I want to take on some famous battler with my level 5 Cyndaquil that knows Tackle and Lear, I should be able to. Well, also, it's good that you can run anywhere. Which, they allowed that in, um... Pearl and Diamond 2, which was one of the only things I liked about those games. And that was something that was really stupid about Ruby and Sapphire. Oh my god. Who's... Okay, apparently he doesn't want me to go. He wants me to come live with him. Oh, he forgot to give me the map. Which is his whole main purpose in the original game, so you figure that's the first thing you'd do. But whatever. Okay... Okay. Yep. I wish that you'd get out of my face. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I look stupid. Look at me. I look like I'm crapping down my pants. Whatever. Um, now I hear that if you run in the grass as opposed to walking, you encounter more Pokemon. So I'm just gonna walk. Hmm, just. Oh man, another battle. Okay, no problem here, we can handle this. And it's a Weedle. I'm probably not gonna get a Weedle, cause... I don't know, Weedles are kinda useless. What did they evolve into? Beedrill? Beedrill sucks. He looks cool, he sucks though. Tackle him. Oh man, that did like nothing. Now he's probably gonna poison me or something. Jeez, I hate this. Look at that, he poisons me, it always happens. There's like a 10% chance of it happening, and it happens. That's like the reason the developers put Weedle in the game in the first place, just to piss off people early on, because A, he'll poison you, and B, he'll string shot you, so he'll get off more poison stings if he doesn't poison you the first time. Ah, eh, whatever. So now, I tackle one more time. He's dead, and I'll probably have to run all the way back to town. Yay! My god. Look at all that experience. Well, I don't know, maybe that's like an antidote over there. Ah, uh, my screen's all shaky. It's a potion. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the Poké Center, so... I don't want to make you guys sit through this, so I'm gonna pause it, okay? Now. And we're back. And yes, um, I went on the way to the Pokemon Center, and he survived his poisoning, which, I don't know. I didn't know that was possible, but whatever, I don't care. Um, I'll probably go through one last battle. Just, uh, you know, get up to level 6, get that advantage on my rival. <sighs> Tackle. What, I miss? Crap! This is so annoying. And I'm pretty sure I don't even learn Ember for like forever. I get Smoke Screen first, which is like Sand Attack. It's it sucks when they use it on you, but when you use it on them, it never seems to work. But whatever. Okay, so I tackle him. He tackles me back. We're having a whole tackle fight here. Finally, he's dead, yay. Okay, so now I get 23 experience points. Level 6. And I learned Smokescreen. Something I don't really want to learn at all. But I'll be able to spam it on my rival anyways, so... Okay, from now on I'm running. 
I don't know what this kid says. He wasn't there before, so I guess I'll check it out. Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you are flying, don't they? Not really. But we wear wild Pokemon. When you run, noise attracts them. I already knew that. Oh crap, I hate, I hate when that happens. Now I'm locked into a whole other conversation with him. This kid could talk about shoes all day. Now I can run, yay. Let's go. It's, I don't know, a house. And whoa! Why is he stopping me? Hey, kiddo! How in the world can you be so oblivious to my eye catching house? Hold it right there. So, pretty much, this entire game is just a bunch of middle aged men stopping a 10 year old boy, giving him presents. That isn't weird. Do you have any apricorns? No. And it really won't matter till the second town anyways. And even then it won't matter. Well, I'll get a fastball. Whatever, so he gives me an apricorn box. I guess that's important because they don't want it clogging up your inventory. Which is kind of cool, but... Oh, he can tell right from the start I'm going to be a decent apricorn collector. Just for that, I'm not getting any apricorns in this whole game. I'm just going to blow by every apricorn tree. <sighs> Another wild battle. Go, Flamer. Will I run? Oh, I got to take my running shoes off. That's what it is. Oh, Pokeball. It's so tempting to get. Well, I'll make it out of the grass first. And I make it out, Pokeball, and it's an antidote. Okay, probably for any more Weedles. Now you go up the road here, you wanna go this way, but you can't, cause Youngster Joey and some other kid, and apparently, he's just apparently such a badass kid that he wears his hat backwards and to the side, are having an intense Pidgey and Rattata battle. So yeah, I'll stay the hell away from those kids. They're gonna mess me up. So I keep going. I guess I can put my running shoes back on now. Running, 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 running. Hmm. Ah, you never want to risk running through the grass. So I got through. You know what? I bet you this will be like Pokemon Yellow. Let me talk to my guy. Oh look, he reacts. Flamer looks like it wants to lead. Well, too bad, you're staying in the back. Keep going, keep going. Finally, I made it through. No Pokemon battles. Bet you that's an Apricorn. I am not getting that. You can thank Mr. Barry down the street there. Aha, uh -huh, and I just realized we hit like 13 minutes. So this is probably it. So yeah, Professor Oak actually is in this game. If I remember correctly, yeah, there he is sitting at the computer. And he gives me a mystery egg. So another middle-aged man giving me something. And... Okay. And now Professor Oak is going to give me my Pokedex, if I'm correct. Oh, so he heals me anyways. So, whatever. Now Professor Oak's gonna tell me something I probably don't need to know. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. John, yes, hurry this up, Professor Oak. I'm running on 14 minutes here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Not really. I mean, like, everyone gets one when they start out. It's like saying Bulbasaur is rare. I mean, he's kind of rare, but, I mean, you just start out with him. And there's obviously more than one, because in yellow version, you can get all of them. Okay, it tells me what a Pokedex does, I, you know, assuming I don't know what it does, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. He could just say, you know, here's a Pokedex, and then if I was like, what does it do, he'll just be like, open it. I wouldn't have a problem, but whatever. I, he gives me his phone number. Okay, is this, is this it? Okay, if he starts talking to me... Oh, he doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna save here, guys. Um, yeah, so at least I got into some battles and stuff. Maybe next time we'll face my rival. 
So yeah, that's all for this time. Bye, guys.